Um, what I'm going to talk about is Facebook advertising. Facebook advertising is simply about putting your ad in front of specific demographics on Facebook. That's it, okay? You don't even have to have a Facebook account. You just have to know who your market segment is that you want to contact and do the following. But first, before we do that, actually, let me talk a bit about Facebook. Launched not that long ago in 2004, Harvard student, 400 million active users. I don't know if that's like users who go in once a week or something like that. Um, 200 million of them log in once a day, which is huge, a huge, you know, um, aggregation of people. Most of the people are outside of college. It started at uh, what, Harvard, Harvard it started at, but it's, it's um, I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal now. And Canada actually has the most users per capita of any country. I'm not sure why that is, but. Something, sometimes that we hear when we talk about people about doing Facebook everything, ah, Facebook, it's only used by kids. Well, yeah, it's used by a lot of kids, but look at the numbers. Five years ago, I mean, sure, they, these guys could have been 19 or what have you, but 24.4 million 26 to 44 year olds. The fastest growing demographic is women 45 plus that are, that are the, the fastest growing group on Facebook. So you can target a lot of people. This is out, actually a little out of date. I'm sure these numbers are higher now. Um, but you can target a lot of people on Facebook. The, the key thing to remember about Facebook advertising is people aren't searching for your ads. When they're using Google, they're actually looking for something. When they're using Facebook, they're like chatting with their friends and they're posting pictures and they're doing other stuff and your ad has to grab their attention. So generally you have to spend more time, you know, developing your ad and generally that means coming up with some really good pictures. In your case, you know, some cute puppy pictures will go a long way there to getting people to, to actually see the ad on the side of their page. So these two ads here, okay? These two ads. Because when you're doing Facebook advertising, you don't just want to create one ad, you want to create at least two ads, and you want to see which one are going to get you the best results. Because on Facebook, you can either pay per cost per thousand or cost per click. It's up to you. And if you're paying cost per thousand, you want to have the best looking ad, the best, the, the ad that's causing the most people to click on as possible, right? So which of these ads do you guys think are going to get, and this was a real life experiment, which one would get more traffic? The image. Right. Okay, all right, so who says the right? Okay, who says the left? Now, who only said the left because they think it's a trick question? No. no? Like the left? Okay, all right. Now, and it's funny, if you were to look at the ratios of hands that came up for each one, probably be close to this. Now, if you had only created this ad, would you ever know that you weren't getting as much traffic as a very simple change to the ad could have gotten you? No, you'd never know. That's why you always test, right? Always test. Create at least two different versions and see which one's better. So Facebook advertising can be very, very, I mean, right now it is cheap. We're telling all of our clients to do Facebook advertising because it's cheap. It's not going to be cheap in a year. It's cheap now because not many people are doing it. Um, very easy to use, as I showed you, you can spend five minutes and create an ad, and then you can create other ads and so forth. But again, it's important to evolve your ads, right? So have two ads running, get rid of the loser, and recreate the losing ad on a regular basis in order to evolve your ads and get the best results. So, I think that is uh, it.